Creative space. Creative space. Creative space. Creative space. I've been feeling restless, tackling tasks to the top that I'm destined. But right now in the present, I'm taking up the knowledge every message and lesson. That's a testament that I'll be living by, till I'm sorted like the dragons in the den checking investments. Every path that walk I spring of my essence. When I'm fine dining, sipping white wine, or testing questions, they want to cost the past the time. I was given the voltage, so it's my job to shine. I'll do it for the valor forced, fuck the euro signs. That's what I call life at its finest. How would you define it? I'll get a vision in my mind, design it. Back out the pickaxe and mine it. Then combine with a team to refine it. That's how the carbon transmutes to a diamond. Alchemy. The philosopher's stone. Turning shit into gold. That's the attraction. It's about turning words into actions. The phoenix rises out of ashes with its passion. That's true satisfaction. There's more to life than a mansion. You need to find out what it is in one pass of distractions. In the captions. That's a journey, so take it with class, style, and compassion. I see the leaves wither and disintegrate back in nothingness. I see dead animals laying the side of the road lifeless, crushed by the rubber of vehicles at super speed. So fast they had no chance to escape fear. Just like us in this chaotic universe, no chance of escaping this powerful but beautiful destruction. But if there was no such thing as destruction, there'd be no such thing as creation. Asteroids may have brought death to the dinosaurs, but it brought life to all of us in this room. I can't get over how many coincidences it took for us to even exist. Breathing, communicating and showing love to each other. I focus so much on this unbelievable existence, I've almost stopped living this past year. I've been so focused on my inner thoughts and anxieties that I won't give my mind one second of peace, and I've neglected the ones that mean the most. And in losing myself, I feel like I'm slowly losing everyone around me. The ones that hold me together, but it feels like these thoughts plague me. There are days when these thoughts slow, it's crucial and fucking beautiful. It's usually the days I don't lay in bed with a racing mind, hating existence and feeling sorry for myself. The days I divert these negative thoughts for just a couple of minutes. Just enough to get out of this dark room, grab my bag and hit the gym. I don't know if it's the rush of endorphins or finally get out and out of my mind and back to reality. But that hour in the gym is what helps me push through each day. I might have been battling depression and anxiety this year, and it was one hell of a battle. But there was points that wouldn't leave my apartment for weeks on end. The negative thoughts became that prevalent maybe months on end. But when I look back on this horrible year, I done my first cage fight. I became a yoga teacher. I learned how to direct and edit music videos. I started rapping about real life and meaningful stuff instead of meaningless bullshit and hope that I can help someone else push through their struggles the same way rap music helped me. Through all this pain and suffering, I feel like I'm finding my true self. And yeah, sometimes I hate existence, but I'm still happy to wake up every morning and have the chance to see the people I love again. My head's no longer in the clouds and I feel empathy for all human beings suffering. Maybe a lot of mental illness is there to force us to evolve, to tell us something is off in our lives, and to try to reroute us in a better path. Keep fighting for that better path.
Grow up is like your own area to become yourself and actually deal with in front of people instead of doing it in your own head and just trying to get past that. But when you're in front of other people in this group, it brings you out and actually allows you to push yourself. I don't know how to explain it really, but it's just a different energy to feed off when you're around people and doing that for yourself. Because you don't actually expect to walk into a room full of teenagers and adults and them to actually mix and feed off each other's ideas and actually allow, allow them to affect your own mind. Like, you know what I mean? It's just crazy how it works and affects you. In, even on a day-to-day basis, like I feel since I joined this group, I've become more of myself than I have in the past 14, 15 years, honestly. And that's just through the expression of music and the expression of myself. The feeling is pure and utter confidence. And it's just crazy, you know, the way it does happen and the way it, it, it controls it. And you control it at the same time, it's mad. The thing is, when you do something that provokes me psychologically and emotionally and my perception of the world to such a degree where I shift my previous prejudice, now art has transformed me. Now the responsibility of you as an artist and the gift you have given me has transformed me. So the idea of what piece of art can you make if you had one choice that would transcend who you are? One of the greatest quotes in the world by one of the leaders who stood up for civil rights, Malcolm X. We should all take inspiration and find our purpose and help our people, our community, and unify what is lost. Fail in this society, we are brought up not to dream, not to believe that you are special. We all play a real part in this world, and it's about finding your part. And sadly, many people don't believe that they actually play a real part in this world. I have friends, I have family, and I can see it in their eyes, they've got that, that calling of what they want to be but not what they believe they can be and it's such a shame because there is so there are so many young people all over the city that are just disintegrating into nothing when they can be evolving into their wildest dreams and I mean that Just a lot of creativity in that room. That's what I just think it is. I love coming up here, just meeting all them, learning new stuff, and then getting that motivation boost, and then just going home and doing what I do. Like, do you know what I mean? That's what I just think it is. Feels good, like happy, happy vibes, like good vibes. And...
happy within, like, and just, you start thinking stuff like, oh, well, I actually want to start doing my music more and more now because just the, the feeling that you get in the room, like, do you know what I mean? That's just, what I always get from it, leave that room, mad motivated, so happy, and just go home, and just boom, that's it. Starts from there.